You see, I never know what this... Uh, actually, another person told me that the rabbi was doing good. Looked like he was not doing good at all. And, I mean, how in the world he was doing good, and he said Islam is beautiful? Those are false rabbi. You know, I used to go on ABN, a TV station, Christian TV stations, and, uh, you know, David Woody used to go there. So the ABN, they invite me to debate Muslims, and then before I go live, they start saying to me, uh, the owner of the station, uh, uh, Christian, can you please be nice to the Muslim? I said, what do you mean? Uh, like, uh, you know, don't use like a tough language and, uh, you know, we want them to come back. You know, I said, listen, you know, I mean, I cannot be nice. It's not me. Do you want me to debate that guy or not? You say, yeah, yeah, we want you. Then, no, no, we want you actually. But like, can you like, you know, hold yourself and like, you know, don't go all the way with him. Like, don't just bunch hard. Like, you know, can you make it soft? I said, do you want me to finish the guy? Or you want me to give him makeup? What do you want? Why you are, why you are, why you guys are call, why you are asking me to come to a debate? If it's not, is that a setup? Are you telling me to lose a debate? And this is why I can go actually, you know, even those email is long time ago, but maybe I can find it. I sent them an email, I said, don't ever contact me again. Ever. So they want Christian Prince, but the nice version. When I debated this guy, the head of the Muslims in USA, the Muslim Shia, Al Husseini, who have four interview with Fox News, they told me this is not our agreement. I said, I don't know agreement. I never told you. You know, you told me you asked me for it. I said I, I cannot do it. He said, but you were really so tough on the guy. You you know. I said, <laughs> just don't call me again. In fact, you will notice always when we have the invite me for a debate, the host in the, the behind the table, he signed with the Muslims against me. He signed with the Muslim. Why is that? Because we want the Muslim to come back. So I thought they never call me back again. I don't want to be there. You don't tell me what to say and what not to say and how nice I will be. I will never be nice. I cannot be nice with the devil. All what they care is just to bring the devil again because they want to run a show. And that's why I say there's a huge difference between business and mission. In a mission, you care for the truth. In a business, you care for having a show but if they are smart actually they should be happy to have me because simply that will make more people watch and see what happened but anyway this way actually I decide not to join any program no more any of those things like you know uh, because simply they boil my blood like, do you remember I have a debate with this guy? The guy who was killed, yeah, Rashad Khalifa, you know, his assistant. He was killed, Prophet Rashad Khalifa. So his assistant, which means the one after him, I have a debate with him, I forgot his name. And then the guy who was in ABN, this guy is an idiot himself. He called himself Edor. Sometimes he called himself, I don't know, Muhammad Ahmad. So he was a Muslim, he became a Christian, then became Muslim, then became a Muslim, then became a Christian, you know, I mean, this guy is an idiot. So... During the debate with this guy, if we can call it a debate, suddenly this guy, Edward, he told the guy, okay, he is, he is going to go. Like, what the heck? What, so what we would do now? I mean, what, what you are saying? What? What is, what is going? So they told me they have a debate. They brought the guy because I was not nice to the guy. I was the floor with him. They told him, you can leave. You know, he's not being nice. To make him escape the humility. Yeah, something like that. Edward, whatever his name. 
O your domain. If you are a Muslim, you like to join us live on air, please feel free. If you are a Muslim. Don't worry, Allah will support you. <laughs> 